Gaming loot boxes. What happened when Belgian banned them? So this is a uh, article talking about when Belgian banned loot boxes and what happened. And just you know talking about loot boxes in general, which I I'm not a big fan of, of course. Surprise mechanics. I thought this picture right here is fucking amazing. Just wanted to say that. Uh, loot boxes in gaming should be treated in the same way as gambling. Surprise mechanics. Says a group of MPs. That would mean the kind of in-game purchases where players don't know what's in the box until they've bought it. Surprise mechanics. Uh, would be banned for under 18s. And honestly, I think that's a good idea. Um... And that, that's not that severe. Now, I honestly don't like loot boxes at all. I, uh, um, I remember a time when I was a kid where you got the entire fucking game. What happened to that? What happened to getting the entire game at one time? You know, I mean, $60 for a video game and you don't even get the fucking full thing. When I was a kid, my dad paid uh, $75 for a Super Nintendo game for Agro Monsters at a Toys R Us. I wanted the game so bad. It was fucking really cool. Uh, where are we here? Okay, so it says, in that case, uh, come into force in the UK, uh, what would it actually mean for everyday gamers? Uh, uh, the answer is we can look to Belgium, which looks like they stepped to ban the loot boxes altogether last year. Gamers are supportive of the ban, of course, because loot boxes are fucking bullshit. Surprise mechanics. I don't like loot boxes. I don't fucking like them. I don't like, I don't like this shit being for kids. I don't like them. What else we got here? You can barely read the fucking screen. Loot boxes also allow players to spend real money to unlock yeah, special character equipment skins in the game. Yeah, pay to win. Uh, uh, PTW. Uh, not a big fan, obviously, since I'm broke as fuck. Uh, the reason they're sometimes accused of being gambling is because not guaranteed anything good or valuable when you buy a box. There's an element of chance, also known as surprise mechanics, as uh, EA put it there. Uh, I'm not sure if that was the same court case or not, to be 100% honest. I have a clip of that court case coming up because that shit is hilarious. They're popular in many games such as FIFA, Call of Duty, and Apex Legends. Uh, but it was Star Wars Battlefront 2 which kicked off the debate in Belgium. Yeah! What was it, uh, uh, 6,000 points or whatever, 60,000 points or something, what, like 60 bucks to get Darth Vader and Luke or something like that? I remember Boogie talking about that. Um, the 2017 game was criticized by players because major characters such as Princess Leia and Darth Vader had to be unlocked through loot boxes. That is insane. Had to be so you couldn't even get the fucking characters? That's, that's, that's ridiculous. Surprise mechanics. The backlash led publisher EA to suspend in-game purchases. Good. <laughs> uh, gamers were actually pretty supportive of the ban, of course, says Belgian gaming journalist Ronald Mias. Hope I'm saying his name right there. Gamers tend to see it as something dishonest and something that can create a competitive advantage inside the game. Yeah. Surprise mechanics. Surprise mechanics. Oh, God. There's the FIFA game. Uh, along with Battlefront 2, the Belgium Gaming Commissioner uh, Commission uh, investigated FIFA 18, Overwatch, and Counter-Strike Global Offense. <laughs> uh, the video game companies don't agree, of course, says Ronald. Uh, companies like Electronic Arts are debating if it pretty fiercely. Yeah, no shit. I bet they are debating it pretty fiercely. Why would you want to make a $60 good game when you could make the $60 good game worth fucking $500? You know, and, and I'm, I am a, a prime target for these things. I have probably spent, I would say, like, I would range it $300 on Pokemon Go. I mean, we're talking, like, that shit came out and all my friends were playing it. And I was like, oh, man, I got I to gotta get the Pokeballs, man. And it's so scarce, especially uh, when that game first came out. I I'm just saying, that's, that's one of my experiences. I've spent a lot of money on mobile games and shit like that. I just like, it's, 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 that, it's that the way they're made. Surprise mechanics. Uh, the video game companies don't agree, of course, yeah, no shit. Companies like Electronic Arts, yeah, no shit. Um, it's due to re- oh, oh, they even went so far as to rename the loot boxes. Surprise mechanics. 
And one of the company's vice presidents compared to the Kinder Eggs. Yeah, a fucking 99 cent Kinder Egg with a, with a fucking a goddamn Automatron robot in it. Uh, some loot boxes can also be won as rewards in the game rather than being bought with real money. Uh, some of these... Can you imagine... Oh, look at this kid's hands right here. Can you imagine that kid right there uh, gambling on these fucking loot boxes? Because, I mean, that's that's kind of... Think about that, you know? Um, though these are still frowned upon, no shit. Uh, Belgium said they are, they are allowed. Some loot boxes are won as rewards in the games. Oh, okay, okay. Frowned upon, yeah, okay. Sounds good. Surprise mechanics. EA's Kerry Hopkins argued loot boxes are quite enjoyable to people. Yeah, I, I love that too. To be 100% honest, I really don't think that they're quite enjoyable to people. People say that scratchers are fun, and then they fucking spend $20 and don't win any money, and they're not fun anymore. You know? Uh, however, Ronald Mias, uh, Mia says that the uh, experienced Belgium gamers are pretty pleased to see uh, the back of them. Yeah, hang on here. Belgium gambling rules are already quite strict, he adds, and I guess it's that establishment, uh, established sort of culture that makes Belgium a kind of a pioneer in this whole discussion. Uh, many UK gamers may feel the same. Uh, when you speak to any gamer, even gamers who do buy those games and do buy into those loot boxes, none of them are happy with it. Yeah, because I'd rather have a $60 game rather than a fucking $500 game. Surprise mechanics. Uh, games journalists and PR Ryan Brown told Newsbeat in June they don't deem it as being fun. They wish it wasn't there. Exactly, I agree. Why do companies create loot boxes? Money. That's a pretty simple question, I believe. Loot boxes have crossed over into free mobile games, to console PC games, and past few years as game developers have to pour more and more money into creating more innovative and impressive titles. Game prices haven't really gone up dramatically. I know there's some argument about that. I don't know exactly what the prices are. We might fucking... I think I'm going to stick around at the end. We're going to look and see what it costs to make a Call of Duty. Um... And what they actually make. Um, so they try to make their money back in other ways, which is, oh, being deceptive. That's, that's fantastic. What a good way of making your money back. Surprise mechanics. Um, which is why in-game purchases have become so big. Oh, my God. Have you seen the video uh, where the guy, he breaks the CD, he gets the CD, and he breaks the CD, and then he duct tapes it back together, and he's got, like, the different things. It's like, it's like DLC and... <laughs> <laughs> that freaking video is fantastic. Uh, the UK's Digital Culture, Media, and Sport Committee's inquiry uh, into addictive and immersive technologies heard stories of young adults who's built up debts of thousands of pounds through spending in games. Uh, good God, my fellow gamers. Good fucking God. You $5,000 in the hole from playing Pokemon Go and Dragon Soul? Come on, man. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. Um, <laughs> I gotta have it, man. I gotta have. I gotta. I gotta have those. <laughs> those fucking Dragon Soul coins. I'm, I'm dating myself a little there, but I spent a lot of money on Dragon Soul. Gosh darn. It's really fun. Five man teams, fifty different characters, and they just kind of like attacked like this. So it was like. You know, like, sometimes it would just be like, and I would just get destroyed, and sometimes it would be like, ha-ha! You know, uh, anyways, uh, the company behind the game, RuneScape, admitted players could spend up to $1,000 a week or 5000 a month. I, I've, I've spent a lot of, I've spent thousands on type of shit like that. Um, not quite that much. <laughs> but the group of MPs uh, looking into this also said that for some gaming companies didn't, give clear answers, especially on questions about what data was collected and the psychologically, uh, psychology underpinning how games were designed. Yeah, I, I heard something about that. You know, like how uh, you have a specific amount of energy on, like, the mobile games and then if you spend more money, you can get gems and then you can use the gems to get more energy so you can play the game. Very deceit, deceptive. <laughs> it is kind of interesting, to be honest, though. 2018, a computer scientist suggests there was a link 
between loot boxes and problem gambling. Wow. Surprise mechanics. I wonder if that's real. But enforcing a ban on loot boxes for under 18s might prove difficult for the government. Giving consoles and online accounts can be easily shared by many people. So that's a bummer. Um, I fucking hate loot boxes. I'm pretty sure everyone else does. Hang on, stick around. Let's figure out. I'm going to figure out right now. Don't let the gaming convention fool you. According to LA Times, uh, Call of Duty's cost around $50 million to produce, okay? So let's see. Uh, how much did the last Call of Duty make? $600 million fucking dollars? Surprise mechanics. So wait, so wait. Five hundred million dollars you made from this game on average is what you're making on these fucking games and that's not enough? Are you kidding me? Good lord, dude. You need the transactions and shit too? God damn. Well, that's that's all I have to say is loot boxes are fucking bullshit. They're making enough money. LA Times says don't let them fucking fool you, so... <laughs> ah, shit. Surprise mechanics. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you next time. Surprise mechanics.